Now to our other top story and tough words from a judge who didn't hold back. I'm giving my sentence based on your client and those similarly situated, Ms. Sharon Davis Williams and Mr. Pitts, were at the very top of this scandal, at the very top. And everybody in the education system and APS knew that cheating was going on and your client promoted it. That's where we are. She's been convicted and she's at the top of the food chain. Former Atlanta Public School educators are sentenced. Nine will go to jail, two accepted plea deals. It is the end of a very long chapter in the cheating scandal. Team coverage tonight at six from the courthouse downtown with today's drama and reaction after it was all said and done. Plus a special look at the man who dealt the blows today, Judge Jerry Baxter. There are victims that are in the jail that I have sentenced, kids. I don't like sentencing. I don't like sending people to jail, but you know, sometimes that's what's necessary. So let's begin now with all the events that unfolded during that sentencing. CBS 46's Christopher King is outside the courthouse with more on today's drama. Christopher, good evening. Good evening, Scott. Tempers flare as the judge gives the convicted educators a choice. Make a deal or face tough jail sentences. Most choose door number two, so he throws the book at them. A simple offer. Admit guilt. Accept responsibility for their roles in the Atlanta public school cheating scandal and give up the right to appeal. My client turned that down, entered her not guilty plea, and has maintained her innocence throughout this trial. Sharon Davis Williams would have gotten five years behind bars. She refused. Judge Jerry Baxter spared no mercy. I sentenced Ms. Sharon Davis Williams to 20 years to serve seven with a balance on probation, 2,000 hours of community service, $25,000 fine. Davis is one of eight Atlanta public school educators convicted in the cheating trial who turned down deals for lower sentences and are now facing hard time. There were thousands of children that were harmed in this thing. This is not a victimless crime that occurred in this city. A heated day in court as lawyers for the teachers, administrators and principals found guilty of changing test scores in Atlanta schools try to argue for lower penalties. Judge Baxter grows frustrated. You sit down, I'm going to put you in jail. If you, if you yell at me, point at me. You can yell at me, Judge. Frustration boils over into anger and at times chaos. I don't want an apology. I don't want it. I want the community to have the apology. And I want these children that were short shortchanged and cheated to have the apology. Several lawyers say their client should not have to apologize. We didn't think that was appropriate. We oh, thought that was, was it, appropriate. It, it, is that part of it? Yes, yes, it was. Uh, no. How can you say that? Two other educators take the deals. I don't both do hereby sincerely apologize to the students, my fellow staff members, parents, and the Atlanta public school system. Donald Bullock gets the lightest sentence. I sentence you to five years probation. Judge Baxter calls the scandal a terrible mark on the city and the children. This thing was per pervasive. It was, it's like the sickest thing that's ever happened to this town. And the educators who did not take the plea deals have 30 days to file for appeals, and there's going to be a prayer vigil for those educators that's going to be held out here in just a little while. We are live in downtown Atlanta. Christopher King, CBS 46 News.